want to make something that sounds like this, bro? You want to make your own effects? You want to make some fucking beat? The fucking butt music, you know what I'm saying? I can, I got you right here, bro. I'm about to show y'all how to make this from scratch. All right, so first thing I did, I came in, Purity, got the Dawn Breeze piano preset, and I added like some effects to it. I added stereo enhancer, turned it to halfway, turned the knob all the way up. Valhalla super massive. This one's free, by the way. Uh, I have the synth ensemble from the mod section, I believe. And then I just EQ'd this down to where it's just the low end, so it's more like a pad, so it'll sound like this. I started it in G, uh, G major, and then after that, I pitched it down to E major because it just sounded harder. Next, I came in a Triton, and I got this song, the VS Bellboy. And then I added some strum to it. I added some strum to the other one too, and then I just messed with the uh, Alt-R. I made it randomized. Uh, that sounds like this. With regular reverb, with these knobs, tweet. And then a little EQ on the high end because I have a ton of ton of uh, sounds on here that has hella high end. All right, next sound. I came in to try it again. I get the legato strings. It's literally the first string option, bro. So that one's easy to find. Uh, if you layer the strings, it becomes like a like a whole ensemble, like an orchestra, bro. It becomes like an orchestral type of sound, and it's super hard. Vibraphone. The sauce for this is just switch it up from the normal piano and make it a counter melody. And then for this, I got just a regular bell with some delay on it. Pretty delay. I mess with these knobs hella, like I turn hella things down. So you just have to go through and figure that out. And then boom, cut the high end right here because you really don't want it bleeding over too much. Now the flute. Xenology flute, literally, you'll find it. Just look up flute in Xenology, it pops up. It's literally just that. It's simple, bro. Right? Oh, the guitar is in Xenology too. It's a distorted guitar too. Reverb, pretty chorus, enhancer, uh, only like for the first knob. And then simple EQ. And then the last sound, I believe. Yeah, last sound. Crazy sauce, by the way. This this is like some new. This is never seen before. You have this sound, right? The atmospheric. But you this is down, I believe. You bring it all the way up. Basically, you had it the way that it was. Um, I didn't really mess with the release, I guess, but I messed with the and then oh sustain. The sustain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. I came in. And it makes it sound like crazy. It's all counter melodies. All right, but it's basically all counter melodies, bro. Just in plug and B, it's just hella counter melodies, bro. If you have everything hitting on the same note, it's just gonna sound all weird. Melody played together. Basically, that's it for the melody. After I lay down, I always lay down my melody first. And then after that, I'll ask the drums. So I got, I actually, today, I made my own sound effects with my own vocals. So what I did is I just made a bunch of random sounds. And I'm like, I'll make like, hee, like sounds. And I was just going crazy. Boom. It turned in, one of them turned into this. I'll show you, I'll show you all the examples first. How did I do that? I don't know. But I pitched it up for the drums. I got the hi-hats right here. I always leave this mono knob up. If I didn't, it kind of just fills your ear. It takes up less space if you have the mono knob turned up. But you could always mess with it, depending on the sound. I actually layered my clap with another clap, which I never do. But I accidentally put this on the same one as this. So it has a ton of reverb and it's filtered. 
So basically, I made that clap and then I layered it with this one. And you basically get this. Sounds crazy. You got the 808. Follow the root notes of the melody every time, bro. You got a second 808. Sounds like it's clipping in this, but in the beat it sounds normal because all the other sounds mix together with it. After that, we got the last 808. Sounds a little bit more full. Then, after that, we got the perks. I'm going to play them all at once, though. So. Okay, so you can see the pattern, Tanda. The snare pattern. Boom. Another perk. The chant on the regular looking ones. And then, I made another drop with... I turned this gravel sound, like somebody walking on gravel, into this. I feel like sound design is mostly accidents, bro. You accidentally make things. Whole beat together, right here. Imagine yourself floating, bro. You're literally floating through the sky. That's it, bro. And you're in the clouds and all that, bro. And now other eight away come in. And then you start falling, bro. But then you're falling towards the ground and you think you're about to die. But then a hole opens up in the ground and the hole just keeps going down, right? So it's like the cylinder shape that just keeps pushing down as you're falling so you can never touch the ground. But then you can see the earth and all the different layers as you're falling all around you as you're going down that hole. Bro. Like that's crazy. And then you just go through the other side of earth and it's like this continuous loop to where you get up towards the atmosphere and then the gravity pulls you back down. And it's the opposite momentum swinging from side to side, bro. Crazy. That's it for this tutorial. Appreciate y'all for watching it. Um, if y'all want some more plug and beat tutorials, drop it down in the comments. You know, let me know your feedback if you made it this far in the video. Drop a sub, drop a like, hit the notification bell. I might be posting in tutorials once a week. It might change up. I might do some different type of content. I have a video plan, um, so stay tuned for that. But peace out, boys. I'll see y'all in the next video.